Welcome to the Intuitive Hour with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. This is the Intuitive Hour. Awaken your inner voice. I'm your host, Michelle Beltran. Today, we're on the topic of psychic protection. What is it? How do you create a psychic protection rose? So while there is much that is positive about working with your intuitive and psychic abilities and the development of your third eye, there are areas of caution, and we want to be mindful. It's essential, I would say even compulsory, that when delving into the world of psychic phenomena, you recognize the need for spiritual, mental, and physical protection. Protection must be considered not only for yourself, but for the safety of your loved ones. There are, we regret to say, in some cases, spirits of low vibration, whose only reason for existing is to spread chaos and turmoil. They are spirits that want nothing more than to bring negative energy and negative situations into your life and surroundings. So, it's important to know when you're dealing with spirits or working to connect with them that there are also good spirits, but these not-so-good spirits are prevalent. We need to be aware of them and how to process through this. It's easy, but you need to know. The difficulty inherent in these kinds of situations where we're dealing with lower vibration energies is that you may not always know, at least right away, with which type of spirit you're dealing with, which type of lower energy spirit that's coming in. You won't know the intention of a spirit until you make contact with it. Even if your goal is to connect with an energy or spirit life force you already know is good, it's possible that a lower vibration spirit will intervene. As you proceed along your path of universal connections and higher planes of existence, you'll be, you'll be more aware of a, of a myriad of spiritual energies around you. Indeed, you'll begin to discern what's what. You'll be exposed, though, to new realms of beings, and as a consequence, you'll become more sensitive to their vibrations. This increase in awareness will bring increased vulnerabilities. So it's necessary for you to create a safe space where positive energy can dwell and negative energy is forbidden. Practicing psychics and intuitives develop a protection rose and or a prayer of protection to send a message to the universe of their strong intentions to be protected. A prayer of protection is personal and is often repeated out loud. I say them before every psychic reading or intuitive reading. Its power is in the strong intention of the sayer, of the intuitive, of the practitioner. It is a prayer said before starting the day and before any reading or energy work takes place at all. So let's look for a minute at what the difference is between psychic protection prayers and the protection rose. While a protection prayer is a verbal expression alerting negative spirits to keep their distance, a protection rose is a meditative energy tool that reinforces a clear boundary 
against negative energy. It acts as a filter to prevent energies not your own from accessing your space. You can think of it as a defense mechanism to ensure safe and protected sessions. To create a protection rose, you want to first envision a rose clearly in your mind's eye. Out in front of you, about an arm's reach away, try this now with me. See the colors of it and smell its aroma. See the beauty of this rose from the ground up, along the green stem, onto the shape and texture of the leaves, to the actual shape and form of the rose petals. The vision of your rose and the pure essence of energy it imparts will invade your space, protecting you with a strong, unfettered connection to the universe. Your mind cannot tell the difference between reality and imagination. Because of that, the unencumbered vision of your rose actively acts as your energy protector. The universe will honor your effort and your intention to be protected. It doesn't take long for you to establish a daily routine of envisioning your rose and employing the vision before you enter a session. Take the time and be safe. Remember that any routine is an ongoing process that only becomes a habit with practice and consistency. Psychic protection is as natural and necessary as eating, sleeping, and drinking. It acts as a powerful force that wraps you with love and grace helping you to be better prepared as you embark upon your day, whatever it is you're doing. As you move forward on your spiritual path, you begin to un understand and, and become more aware of the energies around you. It's helpful to establish filters or boundaries as you make the conscious choice to keep your pure, positive essence within your space. So as your awareness of the energy around you then grows, you become more sensitive and exposed to a new realm of distractions, as we spoke of earlier just a bit. So many various energies on the astral plane and elsewhere may be attracted to that increased energy. You may notice that new people are attracted to you as well. Your ability to be prepared with psychic protection will make your transition to higher consciousness much smoother. Remember that psychic protection is an ongoing, constant process. It's not something done just once. Your awareness of having protection in place throughout your days is essential. Okay, a few tips now for you to know about psychic prayer development and protection. I developed a prayer of protection early on in my work. I find that saying it out loud is very necessary and helpful as it roots its power into my subconscious and also sends the clear message to the universe of my intention for safe, protected, accurate sessions. It's important to establish this as part of your practice before you begin energy work, spiritual healing, readings, even meditation. Consider your prayer before all work where you're working in a heightened space with and for others. 
A protection prayer is not in place for fear that low vibration energies are a threat and will somehow invade your meditative or reading space. So please, do keep this in mind. It's not a fear-based tool. It's a powerful, personal, empowered tool. Setting boundaries with intention. It's a tool to maintain healthy energy boundaries. It is designed to keep your energy within your own space and others' energy within their own space. The prayer is a manifestation tool rooted in ultimate love and grace, wrapping you in a pure, positive essence of goodness and safety. Take some time today to develop your own prayer. You may find that you edit your prayer for a few days as the depth of it fully expresses to you. In time, you'll find a place of knowing that you are complete with your prayer. Once again, be sure to state it before any work heightened work that you do, readings, meditation, or whatever feels right to you, and be sure to state it out loud. Stating your prayer out loud embeds it in the universal DNA, therefore making it stronger. All right, let's talk about a protection rose. As mentioned previously in our episode today, your pure positive essence is the only energy allowed in your space ever. In addition to your prayer of protection, a protection rose is an energy tool that assists you during your daily life. Again, meditation or any kind of spiritual work where you're in the heightened realms requires healthy energy boundaries in place. You'll want to consider using a protection rose as well during these times. This protection rose acts like a filter or a receptacle that absorbs energies near or around you that are not yours and don't belong in your space. It catches it before it ever gets to you. A protection rose can also serve as a hello of sorts. For example, during my day when the thought, just the mere thought, is my protection rose with me? Have I put that up today? Or if the protection rose just comes to mind, it's a clue to be aware, to pay attention. What's around? Who's around? What's coming? In an empowered place, of course, I'm a little more attentive. In these moments, I ground myself, make a conscious choice to become present in the present moment and not distracted by my own thinking mind, and then become more in tune to the events and occurrences around me. At these moments, You have them as well, of course. Your protection rose is giving a gentle reminder to be mindful of healthy energy boundaries coming in and or going out. I'd like to take a moment now and walk you through an exercise to help you establish your protection rose. to help you imagine a rose more clearly in your mind's eye as you're ready to bring your rose forward. So what you'll want to do first is actually find a physical, literal rose. Outside, in your yard, your neighbor's yard, the store, find a rose, beautiful rose that you want to use 
and study the details of that rose, that actual physical rose. See the green of the stem and the leaves, the texture of the petals, smell it, feel it, taste it if you'd like to. Is there perhaps a, a caterpillar or a ladybug on it, on the rose you have found? Great. Study it with detail. Using all your senses. Then set that rose down. Close your eyes and see it now in your mind's eye. The most important thing in creating your rose is its vibrancy. How alive is it? How detailed is this image? While it's an image you are creating in your mind's eye, it's a real and absolute symbol of true, raw energy. And this is powerful. Just because it's an image in our mind doesn't mean it isn't real or doesn't carry power. Your logical left brain may indeed think so. But the universe makes no distinction between thought and physical reality. The universe thinks there's a rose there, right out in front of you, protecting you or doing whatever job you decided it would do. The universe will honor the intention you set for that rose. The only thing Stopping that is you and reality-based notions that tangible can be the only reality or proof. As your intuitive ability grows, you will begin to understand and trust this concept more and more. Creating a protection rose can take a few seconds to several minutes. It's up to you. When I began using this tool, I spent time to create it. I desired to see the details of my protection rose clearly. I wanted to see the color and the detail of it grounded to the center of the earth. Your process may be similar or much quicker. Honor what feels right to you. All right, as we begin to wind down our episode today, I want to leave you with five steps to create a psychic protection rose. As you awaken in the morning, before stepping out of bed, close your eyes and visualize your protection rose. Ask it to be with you throughout your day. I, too, create my protection rose at the start of the day with the intention of knowing that it's always there, though I don't always consciously think about it during the day. Despite this, it is still present. Then, during the day, if it comes into your conscious mind, your rose, it's there for a reason. Ask yourself at those points, who's near me? What's coming? And be mindful of the energy around you. All right, so in summary here, number one, see a vibrant, colorful rose out in front of you. Make it any color you desire. You only need one. You need not surround yourself with many roses. One is sufficient out in front of you. Make it as tall and wide as you. Place it just outside your aura. An arm's reach away. Then ground it to the center of the earth. Don't try to discern where the center of the earth is. Your rose knows. 
Finally, step five, state your intention to the rose that it acts as a filter, keeping your pure, positive essence in your space and others' energy in their own space. All right, there you go. It's that simple. All right, before we come to a final close today, I'd like to leave you with a couple psychic protection tips. The essential oil fennel. Who would have thought? Herbalists have long since described this powerful essential oil fennel as a protection against low vibration energies, bad influences, or influence around you. According to oral tradition, fennel also works to guard against bad influences. So try this, just a three to four drops of fennel essential oil in a diffuser prior to sleep or Rub a drop or two on your hands and on your stomach. All right, everyone, there's much to learn about psychic phenomenon and psychic protection, including the importance of the essential tools and exercises like grounding, grounding cords, neutrality, running energy, staying in the center of your head. All of these topics we've discussed in previous episodes be sure, if you have not listened in to those sessions, do so today as follow-up to this very powerful, informative episode about psychic protection. As always, for any questions or comments, do reach out 800-607-1770. All right, everyone, thank you again for being here. I look forward to meeting with you all next week. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour with Michelle Beltran. If you like what you heard, please share our podcast with a friend and be sure to visit michellebeltran.com to get Michelle's popular Develop Your Clairvoyance ebook. <laughs>